Well, good morning to everyone out there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. It is Tuesday, and you know what that means. Welcome along to episode number 107 today for our F1 Manager 23 career mode with our Alfa Romeo Team F1 playthrough. It is the Austrian Grand Prix in season number five. If you do like the content you see, do consider that like button. Also consider that subscribe button as well, because um, one uh, area may say we're basic, but another area says... We're the best F1 manager channel around. Do subscribe and find out uh, find out why. Anyway, shall we go check out uh, the team championships uh, after the uh, only what can be described as an absolute screw job, which happened in Canada. But it does see that Alfa Romeo still lead the way by 63 points from Red Bull, then come Williams, Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, Haas, Aston Martin, Alpine and Alfa Tori. In the Driver Championship, Lando Norris leads the way by 70 points from Max Verstappen, then comes Charles Leclerc, Pierre Gasly in P4, then Yuki Tsunoda, George Russell, Esteban Ocon, Oscar Piastri, Terra Porcher and Hollywood Land Stroll, your top 10. And still Richard Vacher has not got off the mark. And it's very doubtful he's going to get off the mark. <laughs> How's the F2? F2, Sebastian Montoya still leads from Franco Colapinto. And Ulrich Bayer still leads the F3 Championship from Waldo Munford. So, with that being said, we're going to take practice, our only practice session with the boys for Austria. And we'll see you on the other side of this for the first session of qualifying for the sprint race. Remember, it's a sprint round here at Austria. So, two races for you to enjoy. Oh, the joys, indeed. Okay then, on to Q1, we have rain on the way, so we need to get out there. I'm going to do exactly what I did in Canada, get the fast laps done early and then hope the track doesn't improve enough <clears throat> so that we can just stay in and save uh, a set of tyres, because I honestly do think saving that, uh, what was that noise? Oh, that was my Discord. <laughs> Uh, I have a new mention. It's probably because that right there. It's probably because of that right there. And I've just remembered I didn't even met mention practice. What? Why? Why actually? Why do we bother? Because practice. Uh, it was only one practice session. It means absolutely nothing. Uh, so Gasly is improved. Wow, we're improving on uh, this lap as well. I think uh, that's because someone's getting a toe here. Gasly does improve to P7, and the raid, I think he's falling now, isn't it? Oh, it's about to fall. So we've tied this absolutely nicely. There we go, here comes the rain now. Track has changed to damp. P2, P7 around a lap, a track that only takes 60 seconds to complete, and some of them have got to find, what, half a second? That's almost impossible. I, I say we stay in. I, well, certainly with Lando we're staying in. <laughs> That's not even uh, up for debate. Do we send Gasly out again, though? Now the track's wet. Uh... Oh, I don't know. And now the track is damp again. And now the track is dry. And they're all out there. And they're all about to get in each other's way. Oh, Albon's off. Oh, I saw that on the mini map. There you Let's go, Albon. The... Uh, we'll see that now. See yeah, what Albon did. Oh, it's on his warm up lap as we'll everyone's coming around point. now. Uh, we'll be seeing you there, Alex. And they ended up their own passenger. <laughs> That's what you get. Yeah, staying in was the right call. No way that any of them were finding half a second around uh, that circuit. It's just nigh and impossible. You've got to get every corner so perfect. It's uh, unbelievable. Yuki Tsunoda being fastest, though. Hello, that Williams again. Let's talk about uh, that Williams. As uh, Who do we lose from that session? We lose Joe Perez, Porcher, Vaucher, and Liam Lawson. And with that being said, let's go get on to Q2, shall we? All right, then, on to Q2, more rain on the way. I need to check something, actually, because I think thumbnails have uh, finished with uh, with vidIQ. With the uh, new AB testing that we have on uh, this channel. Uh, let's have a look. No, they've not finished yet. 
I thought that they had, but uh, it's quite obvious uh, that they hadn't. Right, let's uh, go for this fast lap. Lando, purple. Well, it was purple. Uh, it's still purple in the middle sector. He is catching up to the back of whoever that is in front of him. Actually, that's Gasly in front of him, so uh, <laughs> ignore me. Gasly with a free seven. Lando with a free three. Good lord. That's one of those. Well, I can't have been a free seven then. The Although Lando just went purple, purple, and didn't improve. We will box again this but I think we're safely in. I think we're safely in. Who who else? Who, oh my god, if, if we are in and Leclerc is out, this is massive. Because this is a big old uh, whip it out, slap it down on the table moment here at the Red Bull ring. If Leclerc goes out, it's an open goal in the Constructors' Championship. Verstappen's only P10! My god, are we really that much better? Have everyone improved? Stroll in P2 again! What is going on with Stroll? Did Daddy finally light a fire up his rear end or something? Friend, his son was a sack. <laughs> End of the session. Verstappen is going to make it through by the skin of his teeth, but Vers Leclerc is gone. Leclerc is out. That is... What could only be described as an absolute howler from Red Bull. And at their home Grand Prix as well. I mean, take a look at that photo right there, folks. Just, just take a look at that. Red Bull P10, P14 at their home Grand Prix. It is what can only be described as a howler. So Noda is faster again. That Williams is going to be hard to beat this weekend. I've got that awful feeling we're going to have to use a uh, Savvy to beat that uh, to beat that Williams. But you lose Ocon, De Vries, Giovinazzi, Leclerc and Carlos Sainz as well. Let's just get out to Q3. Okay, on to the final session then. There is more rain on the way and it's going to be instantaneous. So we need to get out there and Sonoda has got the right idea here. Sonoda is gone already and we're uh, following him. It's going to be one lap, run and gun. And uh, hope that... Well, no, I think we're good for two laps, aren't we? Yeah, we're good uh, for two laps here. Gasly has gone purple, purple. Let's see if Gasly can uh, get pole, provisional pole position from Yuki Sonoda. And the answer is no, he can't. He loses that by half a hundred. That's incredible into turn one. If he can find that half a hundred, he's on pole. Lando needs to give him a toe. That he's, he's gone purple in the first. Jesus Christ, what is, what is this performance from Gasly? Lando's still stuck down in P7. He needs to really improve on that time to um, have any sort of chance of getting uh, up through the field. Although, to be fair, he started low down in Canada. We know what happened there. Uh, into, where are we down? We're down um, near turn seven and turn eight. He's still purple. Come on, Gasly. Purple, purple. Is Pierre Gasly about to sit on the pole for the second race of the row? Gas Lando is improving as well. It's not enough for Lando to go uh, up. I think I think he is going to improve to P4. And oh, Gasly misses out. Oh, no! Oh, that had to be the worst final sector in the history of. Oh, oh no! Oh. But hey, it's a front row start for Gasly. We'll take that. And P4 for uh, Lando as well. You've got to be happy with that. You have got to be happy with that. Surely. I know what Verstappen is uh, doing laps out there for. He, he can't uh, improve in this weather. Unless the track is going to dry towards the end. I don't think it is. It's not. Sonoda on pole from Pierre Gasly. <laughs> who misses out by a literal whisker. 
Oh. That's that's incredible. What what more do they need me to say to that? But hey, fair play, Yuki. Fair play. Like I said, that Williams has come on leaps and bounds. Absolute leaps and bounds in uh, Yuki's hands. Let's go to the sprint race. All right, then. On to the sprint race. And now, traditionally, the softs do 80% only for Lando. Wow, that's... Uh, that's incredible. Not bad for a guy with only uh, four fists of confidence in, the, in his own self. Now, yeah, that's what uh, I thought. These soft tyres only just make the end of the Grand Prix. But with Lando, I bet they make it. I bet they make it. And with Gasly, I'm going to do the same. We're going to do, we're going to do these soft tyres. And if we can get uh, up to the front here. We'll, uh, we'll be doing all right. Do we take some fuel out? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Yeah. Let's have ourselves a good sprint race then, guys. I'm confident we can uh, get some very good points for the constructors. We're ready for 24 laps around the Red Bull ring in what should be a great sprint. Drivers certainly don't shy away from overtaking on the circuit meaning we should be in for a hotly contested competition here in Austria. Well then, folks, it's time to get going. Here in Austria, we're all ready to go for the sprint. And it's lights out, and away we go. All right, let's see what happens uh, in the sprint. Starting very well uh, in the sprint, both of them, P2 and P4, although it's now going to be P3 and maybe P5 if uh, Verstappen gets his way. I hope, uh, Rob, I hope Verstappen doesn't get his way. Yeah, I just uh, found out the sprint race is on at 11. Well, I'll watch it later. <laughs> That's my solution to it. I will watch the darn thing later. That's, uh, that's all I can do. Actually, you see what uh, movies are on later as well. That would uh, that would help us out. Oh, I've got a mighty! I'm stretching like a buffoon. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna okay. we're gonna give these some push. And let's see what happens. If we can get uh, out in the lead, then we can perhaps think about controlling the pace of this uh, sprint race for a little bit. See what uh, see what goes on. But coming out the final corner, P3, P5 at the moment. Gasly leads. Uh, well, that's Verstappen. You know, Gasly, Verstappen, and Norris. DRS has now been enabled. I think uh, Gasly is in DRS range of Albon, isn't he? Yes, he is. Only, uh, only just though. As we head up the hill to turn three. Ironically, we're racing here this uh, weekend as well. How uh, well, that's this weekend when I'm recording it, that is. Okay, on to lap number four of the sprint. Gasly has made no impression on uh, Sonoda or Albon, but uh, Norris is going to get past Verstappen with DRS. There you go, that was an easy pass. And now if he can get right up to the back of this group right here. I mean, look at this group. I agree, let's go and let's push away as well. Stay out of uh, range of Verstappen if uh, we can there, sir. That would uh, be much appreciated. I actually think he can get up on the back of uh, Sonoda, Albert and Gasly here, can uh, Lando? Well, let's hope so. Okay, on to lap number five and Gasly now up on the back of Sonoda. He's passed Albon, now he's passing Sonoda who's on medium. We're the only cars on the soft tyres, by the way. We're going to have to make this... I, I'm confident Lando will make this soft tyre work. I'm not so sure about Gasly. We'll, uh, we'll uh, have to see on uh, how that goes for him. Okay, lap number six. Sonoda's got back uh, past Gasly. As Al oh, there you go, there goes Norris going past uh, Albon. I think Gasly is uh, fighting with Sonoda up at the front here. Norris is up to P3. Let's go indeed, as uh, Lando. And he should be able to catch up to the back of these two as well. Oh, look at these, really catching up to the back of them. These two are squabbling up here. We haven't won a sprint race in... Uh, F1 Manager 23 yet. 
It would be nice to maybe win one. Dropping uh, Albon like an absolute bad habit. Habit? What's a habit? Not even I know what a habit is. I know what uh, this is about to be though. This is Gasly now uh, taking the lead from Sonoda. Well, I think it's going to be Gasly taking the lead from uh, Sonoda. Oh, God, my God. Did you see how close Lando got uh, to the back of that Williams then? I think actually Lando's... Because uh, there goes Sonoda. Oh, that was a block. That ah, was a block. You two want to be careful. I will pull uh, team orders on the pair if you're uh, not careful. Want to stay with Sonoda as best we can. And then we might be able to control the pace of the race as Norris now goes into P2. And he'll chase down Sonoda, no problem. Okay, we, I've got these guys on the uh, light pace commands. We're, we're just happy chilling at the moment. Gonna try and control the tyre temperature, control the pace. There goes, um, I think Gasly's having a look at the back of Lan uh, Sonoda. Gonna dive it into one. No, but Lando's gonna dive it in on uh, Gasly. We may be three wide going into turn three. We, well, I thought we were going to be three wide going into uh, turn three. But Sonoda blocks off very nicely. These two want to... Uh, yeah, these two want to make sure they... Uh, keep it fair, keep it friendly. Although, what's uh, fair and friendly about it? Not a lot, if we're being honest. Okay, lap number 11, Norris has now got out into the race lead. We've got him on light uh, pace mode at the moment as Gasly looks uh, to get past Sonoda. If we can get uh, Gasly past uh, Sonoda, then we can really, really control the uh, pace of the race. Sonoda now coming up to the back of Lando. Who's got DRS? I think Lando's got DRS, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Oh, that's, that's you done. That's uh, Sonoda done. Down the inside of turn four. Great move. Great move. Now we can now we can control the pace. This right here is where we control our pace. Oh, I am yawning again. Oh, slow down. I have got a rear. Yeah. <laughs> okay, lap 14 of the sprint. You can see now that uh, Gasly and Norris have uh, pulled out away from DRS from uh, Sonoda. I don't know if Sonoda's got DRS or not, but uh, these two are managing the pace of these soft tyres very nicely. And managing them to the point that uh, now Gasly, I think, is going to take the race lead from uh, Norris. They're free to race. I'm not going to stop them from racing, but they've got to be uh, careful because uh, they don't want to allow Sonoda back into the conversation. But I think they have allowed Sonoda back into it, so I might need to uh, push them a little bit. No, I'll keep... Uh, I'll push Norris, definitely. I think he can... Uh, Make the end of the Grand Prix. Okay, on to lap number 16. We've pulled away from Sonoda Let's again. Let's Let's push but he still seems to be hanging around like there's Sonoda back there. What's it, Verstappen now that's uh, back there? I'm seeing something in my eye there. Let's, uh, let's sort that out. Perfect. And now Gasly going past Norris again for the race lead. Easy as you like. Careful not to take each other out. And there you have it. That right there is how it's done. Nice and perfect. We've got yellow flags out there. Piastri uh, runs wide. Now there's the car of Piastri. It's going to be Piastri oh, running wide at turn four. Easy to do. There, Downhill well, braking zone. That's very, very easy to do. It's more, uh, more easier than you think. Okay, 80, lap 18, and now we've got a problem because Verstappen's here. Who's just that stroll sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix? 
you had uh, Lance Stroll saying the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, folks. You were, um, you quids in. But speaking of quids in, we need to get, uh, let's get going. We need to get Verstappen out of the way. That is Punch one problem. Yep. That is one problem we don't need. And that was cheeky. That was cheeky than it actually needed to be, and I didn't appreciate that. So if the pair okay. of you wouldn't uh, mind, let's uh, get Gasly back up to Lando and try and get him some semblance of the lead back. I'm going to take the thing off. It's making me tired. Now we can push one step more tires. This is the problem with only sleeping two hours. Very, uh, very susceptible to other things. Gasly is catching back up to these two. So that's, uh, that's something at least. Nice no, going to take the lead of the Grand Prix back. <coughs> Perfect. Perfect race in here, guys. So now let's control off. the pace once again, Lando. Control the pace. Free to go. Control the pace. Nice Gasly uh, back past Verstappen. Now he's going to go after Lando. Come on, guys. Let's control the pace of the race. Don't do anything stupid. And that's going to be Gasly going through into the race lead. I think they can make it from here on the uh, tyres that they've got. Stayed nicely. Okay, coming up to start the final lap of the Grand Prix. It's Gasly leading from Lando Norris. And uh, oh my god, Gasly pushed Lando to the wall there. I think uh, Lando appreciated that one. Gasly's going to come back at him up the hill. We've got Verstappen and Sonoda side by side. That's a crucial fight for us as well in the uh, Drivers' Championship, but uh, there goes uh, there goes Gasly again. Now, will Norris find a way through? I don't think he will this time. Uh, that's tight. It's very tight between the pair of them. Norris now has the lead. Come on. Oh, they're going to take each other out here, aren't they? Gasly has the lead back. And Gasly's gonna keep the lead. I think Gasly's gonna win the sprint. You know, I think it's, I think that's fair because Gasly's. Uh, uh, this might not be over though. All right, it's over now. All right, fantastic. Give me a one-two in the sprint to Pierre Gasly's gonna win the sprint, which allows me to uh, yell out the top of my voice uh, as he crosses the line and wins the sprint. What did we do? What did you do? What did we just do? Those who know will know. Damn right, race winner Pierre Gasly. Let's see that again. And congratulations, Pierre Gasly, on a great sprint Fantastic. Win. That's a thumbnail right there, actually. That is a thumbnail. And their hard work is rewarded with maximum points. Pierre Gasly's first win for Alfa Romeo. You love to see it. And I mean, you, you absolutely love to see it. Do we get a trophy for winning the, uh, the sprint race? I'm sure we get a trophy for it as well. There you go, right on cue. Silver trophy, sprinting on a marathon. Maybe we could have won that early if we'd uh, been with Red Bull. And there he is, Pierre Gasly, today's sprint winner. And what a well-deserved P1 finish that was. Absolutely outstanding. But that's not what we're all about. This is a road to glory. and We're taking Alpha back to the top of the... the uh, championship it's a one two in the sprint pierre bringing it home from uh, lando i think that to be fair that's fair because pierre uh, has been on it all uh, weekend whereas lando's uh, felt a bit off i think it's time to go prepare for the main race uh, i absolutely wholeheartedly agree pierre what did he do <laughs> what did he just do as a one two as well fan we can control oh my god that yeah that ain't working lando that ain't working. As much as you want to try, son, uh, I think you know that ain't working. So we'll go with uh, 
We'll go with the uh, alternate strategy, shall we? Can we do soft, medium, medium? Or medium, medium, soft? Oh, get out. <laughs> oh, get out. <laughs> oh, you know we're going to do this strategy then. This is one of those get out moments where Lando goes outside, touches grass for a little bit, doesn't he? Oh, fantastic. And we could be on the so the uh, faster tyre at the end of the Grand Prix as well. Perfect. So let's go with uh, that strategy for Lando. Now, what about Pierre? What can we do? What did we just do? <laughs> His name is Pierre. See, the one stop is not even quick. It's got to be a two. He could make a two work on medium, soft, soft. But it, it's a push. I think we've got to do uh, the same with Lame here. We've got to go medium, uh, medium, soft. But he can go 24. He can't do soft, soft, can he? No. Or could he do soft, soft? By going longer. Oh, could he? No, it's going to be slower overall, isn't it? So it's got to be a medium. All right, let's bring him in on lap 24 then. And there's what, lap 48? Or lap 49. There we go. That'll do for uh, Pierre. I have every confidence uh, that that is uh, going to be the way to go. So we're starting on the front row. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you heard that right, folks. It's a front row lockout for the main race. Didn't actually think that that was even possible, but uh, let's see if Pierre can win the main race, or let's see if uh, Lando is going to turn up and whip it out on the table again. Here among the Austrian mountains, the grid is now set for the 71 laps of the Red Bull Ring. If Pierre Gasly's feeling the pressure, he's certainly not showing it. They've got a fantastic opportunity starting on pole, but can they carry it through to the end? So let's see what today has in store, shall we? It's the race we've all been waiting for. It's the Austrian Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. So we controlled the pace nicely. I'm just going to move this uh, keyboard a second because this keyboard is in the wrong uh, place. There we go. <clears throat> we controlled the pace nicely in the uh, in the main race, a sprint, I should say. Now we get to uh, go flat out in the sprint, and I mean flat out in the sprint. I have an itch where I don't need one. There we go. And if we can get to uh, pass the node, we got a few takers on the soft tire. That's interesting. <clears throat> a few takers there on uh, on the soft tire. Keep focus. Sonoda, yeah, we, we saw Sonoda overtake Norris. We need to keep Sonoda out of the way. Because I think Gasly's, uh, Gasly's going to win this Grand Prix. If, uh, if we're being brutal about it. Oh, there we go. What video number will this be? Four, halfway to go. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, Rockstar is on a prayer. <laughs> uh, I feel like that uh, at the moment because uh, this tiredness thing is still kicking in. And I mean still. Just can't, uh, can't do anything about it, unfortunately. So, yes, yeah, sit back and relax, guys. Do a good one. Okay, Gasly overtakes the node. Yeah, this is right, the problem. We've got... Um, we've all pulled away from there. Verstappen, but we've got to get Sonoda out of the way of uh, Gasly here. Because if Gasly can disappear out into the distance, we can get rid of Sonoda for us. And Sonoda's uh, just being a constant pain in the rear end. It was the Williams driver. And I mean a this. constant pain in it's the rear so end. Inviting.
how do you guys pull up with Sonoda? He's actually been turned into a very good driver as uh, Yuki Sonoda. We can't uh, complain all that much about him with his uh, progression in that Williams. Okay, right, Norris. Then. Norris has lost look, two positions, and Norris obviously had the lead. Took the lead it's out there, there somewhere. The They'll, there will go Sonoda. And there's going to go Gasly right behind him. Every Alfa Romeo driver for themselves, it looks like, out there today. Let's Gasly now lost look. two positions. Now this was yep, a turn every point. Alfa Romeo there's driver the for themselves. So we definitely dropped the guys back there in P4. It's now, we, we just got to get rid of Sonoda. If we can get rid of Sonoda, that make our job a lot easier. Ooh, now, Gasly overtakes Sonoda. Right, let's have a look now. Around turn three. We need to get rid of him. They decide to give it a go. How do we get rid of Yuki Sonoda here? The good news is Verstappen is fighting that Mercedes. In fact, I think he's fighting both Mercedes, isn't he, uh, back there? Oh, we've got a yellow flag uh, going off. Uh, who is he? No, he's fighting... Um, he's actually fighting Albert and Bottas. As well. well, he was fighting Albert and the, the two Aston Martins. That is Max Verstappen with an assassination. That is Max Verstappen with an assassination. Give him a penalty. In the garage would have wanted to see. I don't care if it's the Red Bull ring or not. You give him a penalty. That's BS that you know it. You don't give him a penalty for that. He didn't get a penalty for that. He's got another yellow flag. Something's gone on there. We have now like dropped uh, Sonoda, which is good. It's going to be Joe and... Oh, who are you? I think that's Lawson. Turn four seems to be creating some huge it's problems not going the way today. The team had today. That is for sure. And it's problems that uh, that we really don't need out there, unfortunately. But like I said, we dropped Sonoda. That is brilliant. Now, this okay, is poor chair has locked it up into now, the first corner. Yeah, we've just disappeared off into the distance now. Oh, and the car locks up. Speaking of disappearing off into the distance, so is he. By the way, did you see what um, Red Bull have okay, we got? Uh, Gasly yeah. coming in for his pit stop. You see what they've done with the Red Bull ring uh, to cure the uh, running off uh, part? They have decided to put gra one strip of gravel on the outside curb of each box, corner. Box. Just a little thin strip of gravel. I don't agree with that. Oh, speaking of things I don't agree with. Oh, for the love of fuck, oh, Sorry, brother. Jesus, hate your mother of mine. have a clear track on pit exit. Gasly with a pit stop issue. That's wonderful. By the way, how many, uh, how many live streams have we got to deal with? No more lift Quite a few, required. I can catch up with them. Don't worry, I'll catch up with them. I know what I'm doing. Catch up on the V Junkie Gaming. More lift off I think he's changed his uh, YouTube name as well to V Junkie Gaming VT. Now why? Go subscribe to him. Copy. Go subscribe to him and tell him that I sent you. Or whatever. Don't uh, not another one. I mean, Jesus Christ, guys. That's that's two in a row. Yeah, what is happening with the pit? Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. No. That's guaranteed to uh, put everyone to sleep. The idea is not to put everyone to sleep. The idea is to keep everyone awake. Which is a bit difficult at the moment, I mean... A bit difficult. I need to catch my second wind very quickly. But at least they found each other again. We can work together to move back to the front and make this two-stop strategy, this nice aggressive two-stop strategy work out in the long haul. Piastri Let's runs wide. Let's have a look then That's at turn down six. at turn six. Uh, the there's a track over there somewhere, uh, Oscar. The 
might uh, might help you out if you actually found it. Norris now overtakes we Russell. Take a look here. Now the focus is on Lando Norris here. For the race lead. Can they squeeze well, by? we think for the race lead anyway. And Lando says, well, thank I think you we're going to get a drink. Drink is going to wake me up. Gasly overtakes Russell now, so we're back in the race lead. So we're heading now into turn five. You love the to see it. opportunity begging to be taken. You love to see a slinker race. And that's I cannot stop now. yawning right now. I need to stop yawning right now. Albon runs wide again. Now Alex Albon is part of this. Let me check Not this so floor. Wide they go. And they might want to take a look uh, at the floor of the there car there because that won't do it any good. There we go, right there. Okay, oh, what's going on? Oh, Gasly, you've not made a mistake, surely. Yes, you have. What have you done? Tackling turn three. Pierre Gasly, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he's almost taken Lando out. What are you doing? What are you doing out there? Well, don't just stand there. Get moving. Oh, my. He's dropping down. He had, a gap, he had a gap between Verstappen and Magnus. Get, get moving. Jesus. What are you... Get moving, Matt. He has lost... I don't... He had gaps to get moving, and he didn't I move. I don't get either. Idiot. We're going to have to put the hards on this thing, okay, aren't we? Like There's no way a please. soft will get to the end, will it? Lando's lost his backup now. Bring Gasly in. We are going to have to put a hard on him. <sighs> Unbelievable. Okay, Unbelievable. Push, push. Oh, well, at least he can push to the end, though. On this uh, hard tyre, we'll see what it's actually like. While Lando goes to the soft, he's going to have to go to a hard. What an absolute crockish... Yeah, everyone knows the words I want to use up, there. It's please. an absolute crockish thing. He's just sat there forever and didn't want to move and let everyone just uh, go past him. We'll bring Lando in soon anyway. Okay, hey, poor chair is locking up. So here we go. <sighs> to turn one. Poor chair into turn one again. Struggling with the car. And hopefully there's not too much damage to the I like tires. the fact they put the F1 manager uh, logo at the uh, apex of the corner. No. Okay, Gasly overtakes Perez. The fight back for Gasly starts right now as uh, we were wide now, Norris up for a pit stop. Gasly here. It's certainly inviting. Oh, dear me. I just felt something go crack. And that sees them move to 15. And it didn't feel entirely good uh, out there, which is fine. Oh, anyway, here comes Norris. Copy. Oh, God almighty. Well, at least there's going to be no uh, pit stop issue, that's not something, but nice soft tyres on Sonoda is in. Uh, who is going to go through? Is Bottas is in. Verstappen is not in. Well, this is, this is guaranteed victory then. If they're all coming at the same time, Verstappen's not coming. So he's going to take second place. Which is fine. We're fuel saving with Lando now. We were fuel saving with Gasly from the word go. Yeah. I uh, I like that. We got Gasly now overtaking uh, the one of the Alpha Tauris. Alpha Tauri, Alpha Tauri. Tomato, that's tomato. A good move from Pierre Gasly. Here say, there say, no say, me say. <laughs> Gasly overtakes Liam Lawson. Now, this was the Alfa Romeo. He overtook, uh, obviously overtook the... Uh, what, well, no, Lawson's in the uh, Haas, isn't he? That puts them Not in, in the Alfa Tori. That's a good move. 
So watch for that. Okay, we got a yellow flag uh, flying out there. Virtual safety car. I think Kevin Magnusson's uh, bit the uh, dust. Car, so yes, okay. DRS has been disabled. It is Kevin see. Magnuson. Binned it in turn one, hasn't he? Yeah. He was running in P4 as well, man. Oh, the back end! Yeah, thanks for stating the obvious there, uh, Kevin. It's oh. like, seriously, thanks for stating it. Oh. Well. That is moderately interesting, okay. then. Okay, we are some. back underway. Should we take a lap of uh, the Red Bull ring with Lando oh, cockpit view? Oh. Okay. Let's take a lap of uh, the Red Bull ring on board with Lando in the uh, in the cockpit helmet cam into turn one. Oh, you saw how much he threw the car into that apex, hoping it would stick. Now up the hill through the kinker turn two. We have to call it that because the bike used the chicane and the bikes are very predictable. So uh, turn three, the Remus corner. Top highest part of the circuit is there, and now it's all downhill from here. And we head down to uh, turn four. Let's see if this uh, back marker gets out of the way. It uh, looks like it's Joe and Stroll that's uh, sitting there in the, in the way through turn four. And then roll it through turn five. We've got another yellow flag uh, going down there through turn six. Circuit still falls away from you. Then plateaus as Russell's look locked it up uh, now. Right, uh, through seven now. and eight. Russell's going to lock it up in turn three, do what exactly and Pierre Gasly did. Now they did leave it and he's probably going to sit there just like Pierre Gasly as well. So yeah, circuit little sort of plateaus will now rise above the crest again into turn nine and then fling it into turn ten. I think Joe's going to get out of the way on the main straight here and give us, uh, give us a damn good lap. Not the fastest lap, but uh, still a damn good lap. Okay, final lap of the Grand Prix. Gasly has made no progress. He's still in P12. Although flinging in on uh, Oscar Piastri, that's something, I suppose. Now we'll go after Carlos Sainz. That's going to be another position. So Gasly back into the points. Well, not into the points just yet. Sainz is uh, putting up a fight as... Uh, yeah, we just saw Gasly overtake uh, Piastri. And now he's got P10. Brilliant. See so if we can get after uh, Charles Leclerc. Norris has started the final lap of the Grand Prix. Which I suppose is something. We're going to get uh, the victory anyway. It's just uh, Norris is going to win another one. Norris is going to win another Get in DRS range, he's what, 1.6 we'll see behind, 1.4, 1.3, something in that uh, area. Link it into that corner now, link it into that corner. I reckon he's going to have to sell for P10, unless something dramatic happens at the uh, front of the field. He might have DRS actually doesn't have DRS, he will have uh, by uh, the end of the uh, straight here at turn three. The only problem is everyone in front of him has also got uh, DRS. See how that uh, works out for him, but uh, in the meantime, Lando's just about to cross the line and win the... Uh, that wasn't even precision, there was a bat marker in amongst all that lot. Absolute joke. And a bat marker was fighting this lot. Really? First over the line. Well, obviously so, but anyway, Lando! And Lando Norris picks up the win. Lando! Astounding. I don't that is victory number eight of the season. After a race like that. Eight. Just let that sink in. The RS disabled. If Gasly can get one more position off uh, George Russell here. He's got to conserve a bit of fuel, so that might uh, put pay to that. Is he going to make it? Yeah, he's going to make it. That's fine. He's finally going to make it, but through the final corner, it's P10, but it could have been much better. Without that 24-second loss, he would have been second. This will be the checkered flag. Instead, it's P10. P10. Nice work.
let that yeah, sink in for a second there, Pierre. Very, very good job all weekend. Just let that sink in there for you. What a remarkable drive by Lando Norris today. An inspired strategy from the team there. What a well-deserved win that was. And you'd love to see this. The whole team celebrating this magnificent result. A well-deserved podium finish for the Alfa Romeo driver. Now, if you're going to place in the top three, that really is the way to do it. Taking their eighth win of the season, there's just no stopping them. Well, there were mountains to overcome here in Austria, but those three managed to climb to the top. So then, Karu, in terms of the Alfa Romeo team, how will they be feeling after that? They'll be absolutely delighted to have picked up the win here. What a great outcome that is for the team. And that's it for this weekend here in Austria. For the next round, we're heading back to the heart of the UK. Get ready for a race to remember in Silverstone, the cradle of Formula One. And we'll see if it goes in one ear and uh, comes out the other end. Uh, Lando wins. That is victory number eight on the season for Lando. Have we already raced ten races? That's ridiculous. It feels like only yesterday we started... Uh... Excuse me. It feels like only yesterday we started this uh, season. And uh, what a season it was as well. Lando increases his lead in the Drivers' Championship. We increase our lead in the Constructors' Championship as well. Yep, gloss over that one. Gloss over that one. We're back to our normal ways. Which is uh, what you don't like seeing. Yeah, I'm going to get me another drink. Because this, uh, this doesn't feel right. Four and a half million dollars in the bank account. I reckon uh, dinner's on Lando. And Pierre Gasly's going to get us a bit of talking. Uh, well, we know what he did there. Yeah, we know what Gasly did there, and it uh, wasn't... Uh, it wasn't good. It damn sure wasn't uh, good. Right, put a new front wing on for Lando. And that's it. That's all we need to do is put a new front wing on it. If you like it, you, know, you should have put a wing on it. If you like it, then you should have put a wing on it. <laughs> Beyonce would have rolled over in a grave right there. Can we renew um, Enrico's contract or can we go and get someone better? I'd like to keep Enrico uh, around a little bit. I'll have a think about it. I'll have a, a think about it. Who can, can we scout? The only one we can scout really is better is uh, Pierre Wache. And uh, he's not interested in coming to us. We'll go, we'll go and scout him. I think he has a negative outlook uh, to us. Well, if he does, he can go himself. <laughs> exactly, he can go in himself. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you did enjoy that. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not already done so. Playlist will appeal all around momentarily. Go check out some more Rockstar Pool 69 content at your viewing pleasure. But in the meantime, stay safe. Be kind to each other. If you can't be kind, be kind. No place in the world can't be kind to other people. I will see you tomorrow for the next round of the Super Championship in Gran Turismo 7. And I'll see you back here on Thursday for the British Grand Prix to see if Lando can, uh, well, win his home Grand Prix.